a handover of generation three fingerlings of the improved local fish species Orochromis andosonai or Kafiwe brim to mark the success of the genetic improvement program. The journey started six years ago with a collection of native wild species, breeding and production of generations one and two fish that recorded 12.9 and 11.7 percentage genetic gain respectively, surpassing the standard of between 6 to 8 percent. With support from the African Development Bank and Sadiq Pro Fish Blue Project, World Fish has been implementing the GIP at NADEC, whose consultancy closure comes into effect today. As World Fish, we've been able to deliver by close of the project in 2023 a number of milestones, namely production of generation the Kafue brim with a genetic gain of 12.9% of G1 which translates to about 17 grams weight gain and a genetic gain of 11.7% of generation 2 which translates to 16 grams of weight gain giving a total of about 33 grams of weight gain that uh, the country has achieved under the Zade project. Minister of Fisheries and Livestock Peter Kapala says government will continue to support genetic improvement programs of local fish species by allocating more resources to ensure access of improved fingerlings across the country. To ensure sustainability, the government will continue supporting genetic improvement initiatives through dedicated budgetary allocations under my ministry. I hereby direct the ministry to develop a long-term strategy aimed at scaling up the breeding program and broadening access to improved fingerlings for small and medium scale fish farmers across Zambia. The Andersona GIP is a project based and one year without selective breeding in GIP means losing at least 10% uh, genetic gain and growth. Investment by government and its cooperating partners in the genetic improvement program of local fish species uh, is key yeah. to the development of a sustainable aquaculture yeah. sector. Yeah. Reporting, yeah. Amachona Kasambala at NADEC in Mwekera, Kitwe.